Thanks, Thanks for, joining for joining me. As you saw in my last video, I was refacing a kitchen, but there was a hood missing. So today, we're gonna make the hood. In preparation for part two, the return of the cabinet man back to the job site. plan to own a cabinet shop? Yep, it was my dream <laughs> since I was a little girl. <laughs> this is my new assistant. She signed a lifetime contract. Now here's the hood that we're going to build. We have the front view, the side view, and the bottom view. The bottom is going to be seven inches of white oak, which will wrap the side, the face, and then the other side. This will be a shaker panel angled back where it will meet the crown build up. This goes in between two upper cabinets and the ducting can be connected and this can be slid back in. There'll be no trim, but there is going to be a seam. This is going to be painted and then this is just going to be clear wide oak. Boulder, it's time to go to work. The skill is being able to build within the time. Why? 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 What if you have a limited window? So this is used up. If the hood takes longer, it then goes into the four hour vanity window. See, vanity is here, but see now you just pushed it off into here. So suddenly you're falling further and further. Oh, behind is this way, behind. Now that the white oak planks have been planed, I'll miter the ends. The face piece is 54 inches long, and I'm going to miter both sides. The two end pieces are 24 inches long, and I'll miter just one side, which will be up at the face of the hood box. The back side will not be mitered because it's tucked between two upper cabinets, so I'll just butt that to the back piece and screw it together. The front pieces will have no screws and no nails. I'm going to build a frame simply to temporarily brace these pieces just for ease of clamping. Now it's time to glue everything together. So I'm going to glue up the miters here, press it to the face, and then clamp it up. Nothing fancy, but it's quick, and it all looks straight and true.
out this hood from the project and I've allocated a four hour window to build it. So now that's where I challenge myself to figure out a strategy where it can be built and completed within that four hour window. I then take my plans and I make a quarter inch plywood full size template. I then can figure out the angle of the face panel as well as the height. This height is 16 and 13 sixteenths. Studies have shown that there are many hours of lost productivity due to sleeping, eating, and scrolling on their phone. time to work with it. be complete because that's the discipline and now it's time to assemble the shaker panel the styles and rails are two and a quarter inches I have two quarter inch center panels and one center style the thickness is 13 16 the quarter inch center panels set back 3 8 from the face there it is, all clamped up. Now I'll refer to my template. And in this scenario, the angle is 38 degrees. So I'm gonna rip the bottom at 38 degrees, and therefore it'll tilt back in the correct place. don't have the luxury of time, you, out of necessity, will create more creative approaches. It's a business. And here we've made it the home stretch, hour four, and we're just wrapping up. You'll notice I'm drilling holes using a half inch Forstner bit. These holes are for magnets. I'm lining up these holes in the upper section with the holes I drilled in the lower section. So the goal would be completing the hood in this four hour window and not letting it go into the next four hour block because then you've just contaminated the timeline and you never want to contaminate the timeline. Right, Mulder? Right.
wise way, the wisest way. <laughs> built fast and built to last. <laughs>